1.5 billion new investors will soon buy crypto. Why? Telegram now offers everything you can do in crypto on your smartphone, from transactions and NFTs to DeFi. So I asked myself, is investing in the open network worth it? And how exactly do you start? Let's go! In this video, I'll cover the following points. The background of the Ton blockchain. Roadmap and data about Ton. How to set up a new wallet. Using the decentralized exchange StoneFi. How to buy a coin. And my conclusion. A quick look back. Who's behind Ton? Spoiler, it's the Durov brothers. Yes, the same two from Telegram who like to clash with governments and refuse to be silenced. Their ambitions went far beyond secure communication. Their goal was a decentralized global network. But Ton faced significant headwinds, especially from the US Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, which saw the native token as a violation of securities law. The same applies to Solana and other proof-of-stake chains. The US regulator tries to get involved everywhere. Ew. In 2020, Pavel Durov left the project and a group of developers took over. On foundation, they continued the project. The Ton blockchain was designed as a distributed supercomputer network. Imagine this, millions of transactions per second with low transaction costs. What's behind it? Ton proof is sharding and a proof of stake mechanism. Simply put, high speed transactions and energy efficiency without harming the environment. Ton is designed to reach hundreds of millions of users in the future. If you take a look at Ton's roadmap, you'll see they were busy in 2023. For example, the Ton space was developed for DeFi and in 2024 they did definitely have some very interesting ideas, such as a BNB and BTC bridge to better connect with other ecosystems and ensure interoperability. Gasless transactions, making it one of the first major chains to enable free transactions and things like a Ton browser. To me, this definitely sounds like something I want to check out. The Ton coin price is currently at $5 and has developed very positively in the last month. We were still at about $2 in February and now at over $5, thereby breaking the all-time high from last bull market. The market capitalization is at 17 billion US dollars, making it definitely one of the big coins already playing a role. And the fully diluted valuation of 25 billion is okay. This means there are still large amounts of coins in the treasury or a uh, at early investors, but it's not gigantic compared to other major blockchains. When you compare it to, say, Aptos or Sui, we have a completely different factor from market cap to full valuation. Toncoin is already available on many markets, on many central exchanges. We see here by uh, Bybit, BingX, Qcoin, OKX, and of course on decentralized exchanges, for example on PancakeSwap or Uniswap. A few key data facts about TON. They have this nice site, uh, site TON sets here and you can see for example how many TON coins are minted per day with a proof of stake mechanism, how many accounts there are, 11 million, more than 11 million to date. So there will definitely be many bots among them for sure, but the number is still impressive. Transactions, we see over 2.5 million per day. We have 2.9 million chain wallets and 150,000 daily active wallets. The number was also significantly higher, we were already at more than 300,000, so the hype was probably a bit bigger. Now it's gone down, down a bit again, but it can also come in waves, and we still see, however, monthly active wallets of 1.6 million. These are definitely good values, I would say. More than 3 million NFTs minted, and there are only 301 validators, which of course suggests that it's still a very centralized chain, that the requirements for a validator are very high in this case. The idea behind it is to build a decentralized network, but it should also be cheap and enable many transactions per second. Accordingly, compromises are still made here. For hardcore decentralization Bitcoin fans, this will not be a thing, but for the regular user who wants to send a bit of crypto over Telegram, they can still use it with a clear conscience. At first we go to uh, ton.org to download a wallet and uh, to get this uh, custodial wallet here, which is basically just a bot. It's a chat inside of a Telegram. Then we want to transact some crypto to it. We can see here Toncoin, Dollars and Bitcoin are natively supported and we can get from an external wallet or from an exchange some Toncoin to interact with the 
blockchain and to pay for gas fees. After I did this uh, transaction from a centralized exchange, I will go to Stonefy, the decentralized exchange, where we want to buy some with some speculative meme coin. You want to connect with your Telegram wallet and the decentralized exchange, you will see that it doesn't work directly. You need this ton space here. And it has a separate public address. It's a separate account and you just have to get your ton that you transferred to your custodial wallet to the space. Then I went to Dex Screener to get the correct uh, token address uh, for WIF, for the meme coin. You should always be cautious about that you get the correct cryptocurrency when transacting on a decentralized exchange. Uh, I just uh, copied this uh, token address here and put it then into the StoneFi UI. And now I can see my ton on the space and take some of it and swap it to width. 0 0.3 a slippage, that's okay for a smaller blockchain here. And I'm just doing and confirming the swap. Then I have to accept it in the wallet. And this can take a little bit, I speeded it up for you. But now we see that we own some width. Perfect. And on StoneFi, uh, you can check uh, different things out, like for example, liquidity pools, where you take uh, two tokens, provide them as liquidity and get a yield. You have to be uh, cautious uh, though, because there's impermanent loss. And you can also stake the Stone, the uh, token of the StoneFi decentralized exchange in order to get an airdrop in the future, which I didn't do. My conclusion is positive. That's why I've also built a small position in Ton and with in my eyes, it currently makes sense to hold an ecosystem token like TON and the meme coin of the chain. Of course, this is a very, very speculative investment, but both the use on a smartphone and in combination with a laptop, I found very good. Don't forget to ring the bell and hit that subscribe button for the best DeFi insights. See you on the other side.